coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. The FAA has new rules in place for drone identification. The FAA proposes changes in drone operation rules. And AeroVironment introduces next generation of Quantix drones. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI. Welcome to your Tuesday, February 19th edition of Airborne Unmanned. I'm Skylar Vanell. The FAA has posted a rule in the Federal Register requiring small drone owners to display the FAA-issued registration number on an outside surface of the aircraft. Owners and operators may no longer place or write registration numbers in an interior compartment. Back in 2015, the FAA first required registration of small drones. The agency mandated that the registration markings be readily accessible and maintained in readable condition. The rule granted some flexibility by allowing the markings to be placed in an enclosed compartment, like a battery case, but it needed to be accessed without the use of tools. Law enforcement officials and the FAA's interagency security partners have expressed concerns about the risk, saying an explosive device might be concealed and pose the risk to first responders when they open the compartment and find a drone's registration number. The FAA believes the action will enhance safety and security by allowing a person to view the unique identifier directly without handling the drone. Owners must have all required markings in place for flight by February 23rd. In the next Unmanned Minute, we'll take a brief look at the stories making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. The FAA has modified its process to request new service suppliers for the low altitude authorization and notification capability. The FAA began considering applicants beyond the current 14 suppliers on January 7th. The initial application period has now been extended to increase participation, and the agency has revised all key dates this year for the application's process. There will now be only one application period in 2019 instead of two. Organizations focused on wireless infrastructure, autonomous vertical flight, drone ports, marketing solutions, weather, and other aspects of unmanned aircraft systems will partner with AUVSI to host informational and educational events. Co-located at AUVSI Exponential 2019 on April 29th to May 2nd at McCormick Place in Chicago. Among the featured events are the AGL Summit, Autonomous Flight for Tomorrow, Drone Port Seminar, Strategic Marketing Workshop, and UAS Weather Forum. Plank Aerosystems received authorization from MCAS Miramar ATC to test the Shearwater small UAS in controlled airspace and at night. The small UAS repeatedly performed successful autonomous takeoffs and precision landings onto a moving off-road ground vehicle with centimeter-level accuracy in complete darkness without the need for GPS or a pilot in the loop. Nighttime operations from moving vehicles represents a major step forward in the demonstration and the maturity of Planet's vision-based navigation solution. Altitude Angel has partnered with DJI to improve safety and open up the skies to customers. Replacing AirMap for Altitude Angel's Guardian UTM platform enables any drone manufacturer or software developer to get access to accurate drone safety data. DJI reports it has been able to extend the functionality of its geofencing solution to accurately reflect the highest safety risk around particular facilities. And that was our Unmanned Minute. The FAA has issued a NPRM that would allow operations of small unmanned aircraft over people in certain conditions and operations of small UAS at night without obtaining a waiver. It would require pilots to present their remote pilot in command certificate and identification to certain federal, state, or local officials upon request and proposes to amend the knowledge testing requirements in the rules that apply to small UAS operations to require training every 24 calendar months. The proposal would be the next phase in integrating small UAS using a risk-based approach. These amendments would allow expanding small UAS operations and reduce the knowledge testing burden on remote pilot and command certificate holders. 
This proposal is the next step in the FAA's incremental approach to integrating UAS into the national airspace system. Based on the demands for increased operational flexibility, and the experience the FAA has gained since Part 107 was first published. This proposal would expand the activities permitted under Part 107 to allow operations over people and at night under certain conditions. It builds on the framework established when the FAA first published Part 107. And our final story of the day. AeroVironment has introduced the next generation of its Quantix VTOL hybrid drone. The AeroVironment Decision Support System for Precision Agriculture. Enhancements across the Quantix and AV DSS ecosystem deliver a combination of new features, performance improvements, and product packaging offerings, which are designed to meet the needs of individual growers, precision ag service providers, and large-scale farming operations. It's a powerful, simple-to-use drone and data analytics ecosystem that captured field data quickly and quantifies it into a usable format. Quantix is purpose-built for crop scouting and can survey up to 400 acres in just 45 minutes. During flight, integrated sensors capture high-resolution color and multispectral imagery from dual 18-megapixel cameras. Onboard processing delivers true color and NDVI imagery on the included operating tablet as soon as the drone lands, which allows growers to ground truth issues while still in the field. For more detailed analysis, Quantix integrates with AVDSS to perform advanced image processing and data analytics, including true color and much, much more. It provides users with insights into plant emergence, vegetative health, inputs, and resource management. And that wraps up our program for this week. Get real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And for more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned over at auvsi.org, thanks for watching today, and we'll see you back here next week.